Well, this is a pretty interesting and fun game. Welcome to the review. Today, you guys, we are doing a review of this horse racing and betting game. This product was sent to us in return for our honest review. This is really nice. The horses themselves are actually made out of metal. You can hear them banging together. They're actually made out of metal, which I thought was really cool. And there's a couple different colors of them. This is made out of wood. It comes with the two decks of cards you're gonna need to play. It comes with the wooden dice, big wooden dice that you need to play. It comes with some betting chips because you know, this is a betting type of game. And then this, I'll show you in just a minute, we'll flip it over and show you that it, you can use it for storage. So you can see here, there is clearly space for everything, space for the dice, space for your cards, space for your horses and space for your chips. And to store this, you just fold the whole thing in half and it clips together. So it makes it really nice when you need to store the game. Everything in the game stores inside of here. I also want to note, I told you guys that this folds in half. So this folds in half and stores everything inside, but this also has a really nice handle on it for carrying it around. And it's got this nice latch to keep everything latched inside. So it makes it really nice if you want to take it anywhere and play it. So you can see all the little holes that are drilled in here and that's for where your horses will go and your horses will move. What we're going to do real quick is we're going to kind of give you a little bit of a rundown on how this game actually works. This does come with a really nice sheet with all of the instructions on it as well. Kind of tells you the objective, how many players can play the game, those types of things. So once you have your board all set up, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to figure out which of your horses aren't racing. To do that, roll a dice. Go ahead and roll that dice. I just did. I do it again. Five. We already got one scratch right. horse. Do it again. All right. Well, so six and five. Again. It is. Horse number six and horse number five are both scratched, and we keep doing this for four horses total. So now that we have our four scratched horses, what we have to do is we have to go through our hand and find the cards that correspond with the horses. So you got to pull out all your fours, all your fives, all your sixes, and all your jacks. Jacks represent eleven and queens represent 12. So depending on how many of those cards you have in your hand, you have to pay for the scratched horses because they scratched, so you lost your bet. You see each one is a different each price. Each one is a different price. Because so bets. This row is five, 10, 15, 20. I got one of each. So you're paying so I didn't it. Too bad. So now all of that money goes into the pot. Somebody's gonna win some of that money at the <laughs> end. And as we continue playing, Make sure you're facing the right way, horse. Oh wait, you scratched anyway. That's probably why you don't know which way you're running. <laughs> so as we roll, we get to move horses, but if we roll an 11, we have to pay, as I said, five, 10, 15. So we have to pay 15 to the pot. So I'll just go ahead and I'll roll one and see what happens. All right. When I hit 10. You got a 10, nine. you got a nine. nine. So that horse goes one. So now yes. we're gonna race all these horses. And the game ends when either everybody runs out of money or everybody decides to quit playing. <laughs> right. We also got to get the horses across the finish line. Right. All right. Well, would you get eight? Is that eight or nine? That's eight. a nine. I don't nine. know math. <laughs> so you can see we've started moving horses forward. And I think I mentioned this earlier, but like, because twos get rolled less, look, you only got to roll three twos to get your horse across the finish line. Mm -hmm. But you want to make sure how many twos you have yeah, in your hand. Yeah, it's not going to help me very Whoa, much. If the two wins, oh, yeah. Greg might do be doing good might, if that might two get all wins. That money back. I did that at the beginning. <laughs> all right, let's keep on rolling. All right, so the nine was rolled uh, and helped the nine horse to make it across the line. So now we got to figure out. Who has nines? I have some. Greg has zero. Oh, no. You have some. All right, so Jamie had three nines. I have one nine. Greg has no nines. Oh. This is the pot of everything that we paid in at the beginning, and then everything we paid in every time we rolled an 11, a 6, a 5, or a 4. So now that is going to get split. Jamie will get 75% of it because he has three nines, and I will get 25% of it because I have <laughs> one nine. So in conclusion, it's a pretty simple game. You could play it with real money if you wanted to. You could play it with M&M's. You could play it with whatever you want. I think <laughs> M&M's would be the best. That's what I'm saying. We should be playing with M&M's. This should be a pile of M&M's. I'm just saying. I would have ran out of money way <laughs> sooner. <laughs> it's pretty fun. I think it's pretty fun basically for any age. It's basically a fun little dice rolling game. So if you guys are looking for something unique and different to add to your collection of games, we definitely recommend this.